What if I told you that the largest planet in our solar system was actually a star that never made it? That's right, Jupiter. The gas giant that's been fascinating astronomers for centuries might have been on the path to becoming a star, just like our sun. But what stopped it? And how close did it actually get? The answer lies in a fascinating journey through stellar evolution, planetary formation, and the fundamental forces that shape our universe. Today, we're diving deep into one of astronomy's most intriguing questions. Hey, space enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to unravel the mystery behind Jupiter's true nature. With a mass of 318 Earth masses and a composition surprisingly similar to our Sun, Jupiter has often been called a failed star. But is this massive gas giant really a stellar wannabe? Or is there more to this cosmic story? The answer will challenge everything you thought you knew about our solar system's biggest planet. And here's what we'll cover. Jupiter's incredible composition and structure the fascinating process of stellar formation, how nuclear fusion works, the mysterious world of brown dwarfs, how close Jupiter came to igniting, and why size really matters in space. Get ready for a journey that will change how you see our solar system, gentle giant. Start by diving deep into what Jupiter is made of. Like our sun, Jupiter is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, and about 90% hydrogen and 10% helium with traces of other elements. But what makes this composition truly remarkable is how similar it is to the primordial nebula that formed our entire solar system. Jupiter is essentially a time capsule of our cosmic neighborhood's earliest days. But unlike a regular planet, Jupiter is mostly gas. In fact, if you could find a bathtub big enough, Jupiter would actually float. This seemingly whimsical fact actually tells us something profound about Jupiter's density and internal structure. Speaking of which, let's take a journey to Jupiter's center. Deep within Jupiter, things get absolutely mind-bending. As we descend through its atmosphere, the pressure becomes so intense that hydrogen, normally a gas, transforms into a metallic liquid. This metallic hydrogen layer is key to generating Jupiter's powerful magnetic field, which is 14 times stronger than Earth's. The pressure at these depths is about 3 million times Earth's atmospheric pressure at sea level. Going even deeper, temperatures reach about 24000, 0dexy 4300, 0dexy F. And there might be a small rocky core about Earth's size. Recent data from NASA's Juno mission suggest this core might be larger and more diffuse than we previously thought. Consisting of a mixture of rock, metals, and metallic hydrogen, spanning about 30 to 50% of Jupiter's radius. Now, to understand if Jupiter is really a failed star, we need to explore what makes a star in the first place. Stars form when massive clouds of gas and dust collapse under their own gravity. This process, known as gravitational collapse, creates tremendous pressure and heat at the cloud's center. But here's the crucial part. To become a star, an object needs enough mass to trigger nuclear fusion in its core. Let's break down the exact requirements for stellar birth. First, temperatures must reach about 15 million degrees Celsius. At this temperature, hydrogen atoms have enough energy to overcome their natural repulsion and fuse together. This fusion process releases enormous amounts of energy. It's what powers every star we see in the night sky, including our sun. The pressure must also be intense enough, around 265 billion times Earth's atmospheric pressure. This combination of temperature and pressure needs to be sustained, which is where mass comes in. To maintain these conditions, an object needs at least 80 times Jupiter's mass. This is known as the minimum stellar mass limit. This is where things get really interesting. Between planets and stars, there's actually a middle ground, brown dwarfs. These failed stars are too massive to be planets, but too small to sustain hydrogen fusion. They're basically the middle children of the cosmic family, and they help us understand the boundary between planets and Brown dwarfs are fascinating objects that can fuse deuterium, a form of hydrogen, but can't sustain regular hydrogen fusion. They range from 13 to 80 Jupiter masses. Some of them are so cool that they have clouds and weather patterns, much like Jupiter does. To put this all in perspective, Jupiter's mass is 318 Earth masses, the minimum brown dwarf mass is 13 Jupiter masses, and the minimum star mass is 80 Jupiter masses. When we look at these numbers, something becomes startlingly clear. 
So here's the shocking truth. Jupiter isn't really a failed star at all. It would need to be about 80 times more massive to become a true star. That's like saying a house cat failed to become an elephant. The gap between Jupiter and stardom is so vast that calling it a failed star is really doing it a dessert. What Jupiter actually is might be even more fascinating. It's a perfectly successful gas giant planet with some truly remarkable features. It has the strongest magnetic field in our solar system, generating auroras five times brighter than Earth's. It hosts a permanent storm larger than Earth, the great red spot that's been raging for at least 400 years. It has 95 confirmed moons more than any other planet creating its own miniature solar system. Jupiter also plays a crucial role in our solar system's stability. Its enormous gravitational influence helps protect Earth from incoming comets and asteroids, earning it the nickname Cosmic Vacuum Cleaner. Some scientists even suggest that without Jupiter's protective presence, life on Earth might have had a harder time evolving. The planet's rapid rotation, it spins once every 10 hours despite its enormous size, creates complex atmospheric patterns that we're still trying to understand. The recent Juno mission has revealed stunning details about Jupiter's polar cyclones, deep atmospheric jets, and the structure of its powerful magnetic field. So while Jupiter may not be a failed star, it's a remarkable world that helps us understand both planetary and stellar formation. It's a crucial piece in the puzzle of how our solar system formed and evolved. Jupiter shows us that being a planet isn't a consolation prize. It's a fascinating state of existence with its own unique characteristics and importance. Next time you look up at Jupiter in the night sky, remember, it's not a failed anything. It's exactly what it was meant to be. Our solar system's magnificent giant, a world that continues to surprise and amaze us with every new discovery. In fact, its status as a planet rather than a star has allowed it to develop features and characteristics that make it one of the most interesting objects in our cosmic neighborhood. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey through Jupiter's nature and the mysteries of stellar formation, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more space content. Until next time, keep looking up and remember, in space, things aren't always what they seem.